Hello and welcome to the Gears of War Emergence fan project. This video is part of the character creation video set. This section covers the leveling sheet, the purpose behind it, and its format, alongside an overview on how to utilize this sheet correctly. Unlike earlier videos in the character creation video set, which were reading from the handbook, as the content in those were unlikely to change, chances are content in these sheets that discussed in this video will change, which is why these sheets are displayed separately and in a different format to the rest of the handbook, to allow these changes to occur with minimum impact to the rest of the systems in place. So with that out of the way, let's go into the leveling sheet. Here we are at the home page of the leveling sheet. As we can see, the archetypes and classes discussed earlier are visible here, with point costs assigned to them. Alongside additional options, these options are background options or adjustments that can be made during the character creation process. To further write this down, there is color coding in place here to make these sheets easier to view quickly. Uh, the cells with black backgrounds are titles. Deep gray is a category or option, with light gray being part of a category. Uh, that's the homepage cover for the most part, I believe. Bear in mind, po uh, the point costs may change pending feedback alongside additional options being added. So, uh, the homepage is relatively simple. Uh, you can see visually right here that it's broken down. You've got your gears archetype at the top left here, including all the classes that are inside of it. You've got your other archetypes. Continuing down the left side. In this section down here, you've got your backgrounds and you've got your additional point options up here. And you've got some uh, further options you can do, but these can be picked multiple times, whereas the ones above cannot. So, uh, moving on from there, we're going to go to the Gears archetype. I'm going to be breaking this one down as well. All archetypes follow a similar structure. So working from the very top, each archetype provides a class bonus. In this case, one additional hit dice. These bonuses are picking are from picking a class within this ar uh, within this archetype. So picking a soldier, grenadier, heavy or sniper will get you that one additional hit dice. And then below this. You will see each class sectioned out with a clear gap in between them so no mistakes occur. So to explain, just to break down one of these classes as they all follow the same structure, I'm going to explain the soldier class. So the structure for these are four columns, starting with the class name. Next would be the level, dictating uh, what level you gain, what bonus. Next would be the bonus itself, stating what is gained at that level. So at level one, you get the starting bonus. At level two, you can pick one post D day feed, that sort of thing. And the final column is a proficiency bonus, shortened to prop bonus. Now, this bonus is flat. So you're level two, you get a one bonus. You're at level three, you get a one bonus, a uh, proficiency bonus. When you hit level 4, you get a proficiency bonus of 2. Each class follows the structure, each with their own specific details inside of them. So, as a quick example here, you can see if you were a soldier at level 2, you can pick one post E day feat, whereas if you were a grenadier at level 2, you don't do that, you gain proficiency with frag grenades instead. Each class, follow, like, as I said, follows a similar structure. Uh, details aside can be different, but are relatively the same. Next, looking off to the right of the screen, uh, beginning in column F, you will see starting bonuses and equipment in this section here. Now, when you pick each class, it's going to be in a column, this is what you get at level 1. So, for example, level 1 soldier, you get basic of equipment, 
basic health training feed and a frontline troops feed. These are the defaults that the class would get. And below that there is four smaller sections here. These are in reference, uh, the first two in this section here are in reference to level 1. So at level 1, when you're creating this character at the very beginning, you can choose if the campaign, if the, sorry, if the DM chooses the campaign's character cast at the very beginning to be from the military or whatever before you do, you can choose this option here. This allows you to choose any feat. Uh, and if it's done after EDA, you would be using this option here post EDA creation. So that's like joining the COG military after EDA has occurred. This is representative of going from having a military structure with proper training to going from oh no, get you an armor now, get you to the front line, sort of say. And the two smaller sections below that are a level 4 bonus and a level 8 bonus. As you can see here, levels right now only go up to level 8. So there's only two of these to choose. So when you hit level 4, you can make a choice. You can either put two stats, uh, put increase a stat by, by two points, or increase two stats by one point. That's option one. Or you can choose one post day feat. That's a level four bonus. When you hit level eight, same again for option one. But your second option allows you to choose one pre day feat. So there's a cost cost and benefit thing going on there. Okay, moving down. Uh, rest of the archetypes hold the same structure. Slight changes can occur with the special operations archetype, but those were discussed in an earlier video which covered branches and classes. I'll just uh, show you visually that these still follow the same structure. I'm just going to go through each of the archetypes here. Um, this leveling sheet can be found in the project discord, so if you want to have a look through yourself you can. You don't see a lot of these. Ah, you know, good thing we did this. So, looking over to the top right, you'll see the uh, starting bonus in equipment. You'll notice there's a little category under each one of these with something called unlockables. Now, if a character hits the prerequisite, so in this case the commander feat, if they hit that 16 charisma, they instantly gain that, that feat. Something unique to the command and control uh, archetype. And you can see the majority of these here have one of those unlockables. Right, anyway, moving up. One of the special operations archetype. You'll see here that the levels are not starting at 1 for these. Now, that's because of how these classes work, and it was discussed in an earlier video. So. That wraps up all of the archetypes. If that's all you want to know, feel free to switch off the video and go have a look through. But there is three more pages to go through. There's pre day feats, post e day feats, which list off all the feats in their category in alphabetical order. So we'll quickly switch to the pre day feats. So left category, uh, left column, sorry, is the name. The middle is the prerequisite restriction or keynote. So, for example, if I wanted to uh, get advanced medical training, I would need to have the medical training feat prior to it. That's just an example. And on the third and final column, there's a description. The fi uh, sorry. So the final column is the description. These will tell you what the feat does, what it includes, etc. Now, a key note here 
you will see this one says it has an ability. Ability burst fire. Now, whenever there's an ability, it will have the name of the ability in bold. So you can instantly see at a glance what has an ability. And continuing down, you will also see on combat ratio, there's a synergy effect. Now, if there's a feat that has a synergistic effect for, from having a combination of two feats, it will be listed on one or both of them. Now, some feats may be able to be combined or whatever, how they have managed to figure that one out. But synergies are unique. Uh, it's very specific to having those two feats, and it will usually be beneficial. So, for example, Synergy effect for having combat rage and the perseverance feat upon entering negative HP, combat rage will auto activate. So, uh, the perseverance feat, off the top of my head, works by you do not get knocked down when you hit negative uh, 0 HP. Sorry. So, that covers pre day feats primarily. Again, some of these feats may change, which is why I'm not going through and reading them. It would be a bit mute if. Uh, for example, I got some feedback saying, oh, uh, I don't like how advanced medical training works. It's it's a bit weak or something like that, and it need to be changed. It would make the video very much irrelevant. So, so that's why we're going with an overview approach here. So coming on to the post-CD defeats, same again, following the same format. Now, that leaves one page left to discuss which is only relevant if you're going for a UAR character, so we'll cover that now. Okay, so UAR Remnant, you've probably seen it at the bottom down here. You'll notice this is quite different to the other pages. Now, this page acts as an extension of the home page, granting additional options to those who have a UAR race. So they pick Legacy of the UIR backstory, they will be able to access the stuff on this page. So we go back to the home page. You will see off to the right here, under the backstory presets, Legacy of the UIR. This opens up a UIR remnant set to choose. So with the remaining points that you have during character creation, you come over to here and select one of these sets. So, with that covered, this concludes the video on the leveling sheet. It was very much a free flow, rather than a very much reading from a screen sort of approach this time. So, there was a couple of pauses where I had to recheck my notes. So, as I've stated multiple times, these values can change, so make sure to utilize the information from the leveling sheet itself when you're making your characters instead of the value seen in this video. As chances are, changes may have occurred from the time this video was recorded to when you're making your character. The link to the leveling sheet can be found in the project discord. That is all I want to cover for this video. Have a nice day and goodbye.